Hello beautiful divine seekers, we have our Palo Santo going here, that's for you, beautiful. We have our candles, we have our crystals, and we have our Buddha, so we are all ready to do the reading for March. Before we get started, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and see how you like the content. Hit the little bell so you'll be notified when new videos come out. And I have opened up personal tarot readings again because I've had so many emails requesting this. So if you are interested in working with me, getting a tarot reading, a spirit guide channeling, working in the Akashic Records, getting a starseed past life reading or doing karmic clearing work, look down below. It's all very easily accessible and easy to find. So, but there's only a few spots open every month for tarot readings. They will be limited. So this is your March pick a card intuitive reading. And I want you to take these messages to trigger your own intuition to see if they resonate or not. And if a pile that you chose, I will show you them right now, does not resonate. That is also a message for you. Sometimes we need to see or hear what we don't like or what we don't want to see what we do want, okay? So I feel whatever pile you will pick, whatever stack you will pick, it's gonna be the right one. It will give you the message that you need. So thank you so much for being here, by the way. I really appreciate you spending time. I'm giving you a flash of the cards. That's how I do it, okay? Pile one. I'm giving you a flash of the cards here, just a flash. You will see with your subconscious mind what you need to see, pile three, flash of the cards. And you will be drawn. Your intuition, your deep intuition will let you know which one's the right message for you. So one, two, three, four, let your intuition choose. And if you're not quite sure yet, you can rewind and watch the flash again, okay? so. Let's do this. Let's get started. I do provide the stamps in the description box below for each one. So March 2019, I know it's going to be fabulous. And please subscribe if you haven't, because I'm going to upload a Ascension energy update for March very soon. And that's going to be really important. And that is for everybody. That is for the collective, for the planet Gaia, for the global collective of all of us. So after you've watched this, stay tuned in the next two days, I'm going to upload that other one. So now those who picked pile number one, let's go. Let's do it. Can you see? I'm just adjusted here. Okay. I think you can all see perfectly. So let us see. I programmed these cards to be turned right around like this. Okay, one, two, three, four. So let's read these cards first of all. Okay, now this is kind of like the first two cards of the Celtic cross. Then it is problems and solutions. That's how I've programmed the card position. So let's do this. Let me take my glasses. So this is the current situation. This is what you have been coming from and where you're at right now. Page of Cups reversed. This is telling me that perhaps you don't feel that you're accessing your intuition as you would like. And you know, we have been going as a collective through incredible transformations recently and our intuition is being activated immensely. And that's why this card is coming up at all. So when a card comes up, it doesn't mean when it's reversed that it's the opposite. It means that this is something important that wants to come to the surface, but maybe has not been coming to the surface quite yet. That's what the reversals are. And mind you, the tarot cards don't have fixed meanings, right? They don't have fixed meanings. Each time I see a card, I tap into it. I get messages from my guides and it means something a little different every time. So for you, this is about your heart, your intuition, your soul, the whispers, those subtle whispers that you haven't maybe slowed down to listen to. And I've been doing a lot of this in the last month coming up to now really, really trying to listen to my intuition. And it's been blocked by crazy emotions, all these crazy full moons, um, 
just the whole global awakening can be so intense. But you need to listen to your intuition. You need to, you really need to tune in and slow down. Look, the Page of Cups is standing. He's dressed in a very bright and colorful way that kind of shows me uniqueness, individuality, your, your true inner nature coming out in a unique way. And he's kind of super relaxed and listening to this little fish whispering to him. So this is telling me this has been wanting to come through your inner artist, your inner uniqueness, your intuition. And don't block it. Don't block it. It's time now to really, really unblock that. It's time to unblock it even more. Now this here, now I don't remember which way they were. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I believe every step in a reading happens for a reason. So I'm just going to read this card as another, I would say, energy of where you're at right now. And this is an energy of being a little bit stuck and paralyzed. So these two cards together are telling me that you have so much potential, but because of external factors, this is more of an external factor card, I feel. This is what's been holding you down. You've been holding on very tightly to what you have and what you know and what is old and what you've accumulated so far, which is okay, but you know that resources need to flow. Change needs to happen. And I feel that you've been resisting change a little bit. Is that true? Have you been resisting the change? Have you been resisting the leap into the unknown? Because the page, the page of cups is not afraid of the unknown. He just goes boom and, and leaps and jumps and, and puts himself out there and, and put, makes himself seen and is vulnerable. And look at this, this guy. Does this guy look like he wants to be seen? One second, I'm just gonna rearrange the lighting. One second. I feel that's a little dark. Okay. Oh, <laughs> is that better? Can you see better now? My goodness, one second. Let me rearrange again. All right. Okay, so this person doesn't look like he wants to be seen. He's holding everything within himself and maybe even saying, okay, I've gotten to a place of stability. I've gotten to a place of security. I've gotten my little, you know, my little coins in the bank. Maybe I'm, or at least I'm in a place that is more or less stable. Why should I give that up? That's what you've been at, where you're at perhaps right now. And we always need to find that balance between the stability and between moving forward and change. And that is your question at the moment. That is what you are dealing with, I see. Now the problem and the solution, that's what's coming in March. The problem is, wow, look at that. I feel that this is a card showing a little bit of fear. The problem is fear, fear of moving, fear of seeing, fear of revealing the world to you how it can be because look, she's blindfolded, tied and bound. And that is a position of paralyzation and fear. So look at this. This is actually a culmination of this. This is actually going a step further. This is actually this situation getting worse. So that can be a problem. It can be a problem for you this month that you say, no, 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 no. You're just going to shut down and say, I don't want to see it. I don't want to take responsibility. I'm just going to stay in my safe little spot. If I start to look around and really feel and see and become aware of things, I might have to change. <laughs> I might actually have to take some new action that's scary. Okay, so I feel that is a little bit of where you are at in March. But this is the solution card. This is the solution card and look at it. It's beautiful. The two of wands. And this is where you have to go. This is a card of vision and, and expansion. Look, I mean, look at the difference. Look at the difference here. This is completely the opposite. This is you being fearful, closed, not seeing, not hearing, not wanting to know. And this is the total opposite. This is you standing on top of a high building, 
having the total vision and total overview and making plans. The two of wands is of a person making plans to conquer the world, <laughs> right? So I feel that this is just, this, this can be done with a switch of a button. And if you're saying you don't know where to start, this is the planner's card. He's standing, holding two wands. And when, when I see wands, I think of, wow, passion. I think of expansion. I think of fire. I think of listening to your inner fire and your inner passion. That's what I think of. And he's doing that and he's holding the globe in his hand and planning, where am I gonna go? Here, here, what am I gonna do? So perhaps for you to take the first step, just sit down and think of the next step. What is the next step that you can do? Break it down, step one, two, three, okay. You don't have to know everything or see the whole picture if that's too scary, but just taking a few steps, the few next steps can absolutely get you there and you will get there. I feel in March, you have an incredible opportunity to open your world, to open your world. And for a lot of you, that can mean physical travel. For some of you, it can mean opening yourself up globally to a bigger audience, to a bigger circle in whatever it is you're doing. And this is going to be extremely beneficial for you, opening yourself up, but just taking the first few little steps if it's too scary, as I see here. So don't miss this opportunity. This is absolutely brilliant. This is brilliant. Your expansion, your opening, opening of the mind, of the heart, of, of your physical opportunities. So this is there for you in March. It absolutely is. And it's, it's saying that you don't have to stay stuck if you don't want to. You know, you always have a choice. You know, the future is never, ever set in stone. I always preach that. You cannot see one future timeline. There's many future timelines. And for you, there is a brilliant future timeline if you choose to jump on that. And it's this one. Look at this card again. Beautiful. Now let's continue here. Let's continue. Can you still see the cards? Next one. Now these ones I don't read reversed. <laughs> musical joy. Oh, I think we had that in a recent reading. Musical joy. So I feel as a part of coming out of this stuckness for you, using the power of music and dance and active creative creativity can get you out of any stuckness. Okay. I used that once when I was in a really bad situation in my life where things were going so wrong, I would pick my favorite songs, put them in a playlist and then play them every time I was feeling down and that would get my vibration up and would get me moving and flowing and get my vision open again. So I feel this message is for you to use this, this energy to move forward this month. Okay. You don't have to be talented or artistic or creative in music necessarily. That's not what this card is saying this time, but using that and dance as well. Music and dance and flow. It can be yoga flow with your favorite music. It can be s s dancing outside to the birds singing or the ocean waves making music for you. So getting into your musical and creative flow is what you really need. So do it. Do it today. Have you danced today yet? <laughs> Have you listened to some music yet? Do it. That, that's going to help you. And we're talking March, so get yourself ready here for the opening of your world in March. So what's the next one? This one is always a bit of a past life energy. Yeah, so let's take a look here. What's this? Okay. Ooh, the Akashic Library. That's interesting. Card number two in this Akashic Tarot deck. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go and get a little vision for you, a past life vision. Okay, so going to turn the camera up so you can see me for a minute. We're going to get a vision for you, a past life vision. And because there's many of you watching, this represents an energy, an archetype, a, a life with a similar theme. So for each one of you, it's going to be different, obviously, right? Like just like the reading is going to be different for each one. So bear with me. I'm going to go in the Akashic Library. Okay, I'm seeing old Rome, old Rome, 
the Roman times, how we imagine them in the times of Julius Caesar, around the birth of Christ, those times. And I see you sitting in a big hall with pillars and scrolls, lots of scrolls. You are a scribe, just like this person. It looked a little bit different, but this was this is the energy I'm getting. And you had learned to read and write, but you came from a good family. So it, you chose that lifetime to open your spiritual knowledge and get really deep knowing and wisdom in that lifetime. And you did it by collecting scrolls and works of wisdom from wise people all over the world, actually. I, I can see kind of camels bringing you books in different languages. I can see people coming and talking to you and you writing things down. So in that lifetime, you were a scribe. And you weren't only writing, you actually managed to really get downloads at soul level. And you contributed to the knowledge of the world in that lifetime. So this for March to me says that there's something that you need to do to gain a little more wisdom. Find a teacher, find a book, do a course, do something that you've been wanting to do to open your mind, to get deeper knowledge, to get your own Akashic knowledge. The Akashic library, we all have access to that. I mean, I work with the Akashic records every day. That's the private one-on-one -on -one work I do mostly. So the Akashic Records Library is your soul record, which you have access to anytime. You don't need a special process. That's where you get your deep knowledge from. That's where you get downloads from. That's where you get intuition and wisdom and insight from. Okay, so you have access to this. And in March, just keep yourself open and look a little bit for a teaching, for a little course, for, for some of you, it might mean, you know, going back to school. So there's something here with knowledge and books and wisdom and the seeking, like I saw you doing in that lifetime that brought you knowledge that will help you in March. So that's beautiful. That's, that's a beautiful vision. We've all been teachers and scribes in some past life. And this is the one that's important for you. Let's continue. I'll let you see the table again. Now, these two cards I programmed in an interesting way. Okay, let's put this over here a little bit so you can see better. The first one is the archetype for you that you must embody. <laughs> These archetypes are so triggering sometimes. Beggar. Is this true? Oh my goodness. The beggar. You must embody the archetype of the beggar. Now let's see why that is so. I'll let you see the card again. confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humil humility, compassion, and self-esteem. That's very interesting. S physical survival, spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. Those are the light attributes, okay? Shadow attributes, dependence on others to the exclusion of effort. Okay, so this is your March archetype embodiment. So what you should not do, what I'm getting from this, is depend on others to bail you out, to do stuff for you, abdicate responsibility, just say, oh, well, you can do it for me. All right, you're going to have to put in the effort this time in March. Sometimes we are in an energy of receiving, you know, help from others a little bit more. But this in March, is, it's going to be up to you. It's all going to be you. All right. So spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. So this is another little extra message for you to bring forth. And I saw this person here. Look, that kind of goes hand in hand. This scholar was so open and he was very compassionate and very, he had a lot of humility. And self-esteem comes in there too. So I don't know, this kind of shows the energy of this scholar. So there's a little bit of this energy that you have to bring forth. And now the question is why? It's, it seems a strange one, especially the word beggar. Now for you, this should make sense. Maybe it has to do with the way you're dealing with money. Maybe it has to do that you've been spending too much 
or not wanting to spend enough for your physical needs that you've been wanting to look at this. You see, this has to do with that card. Maybe you have been not wanting to spend on your health, on your well-being, on you know good food, on giving what you need to yourself because your self-esteem tells, tells you you're not worth it. I don't know, something like that is going on in March. And it's for you who is watching. It's for you to figure out just to see how that fits in with you. And this is really, really interesting. It's, it's, it, I love these cards because they're always a little triggering and they're there to teach us lessons. So <laughs> that is what you need to embody. Now, the second card here, that this one I programmed to show the person you're dealing with, what they are all about and how you can understand them. So in March, you're gonna be dealing with one specific person. Mostly it's someone who triggers you a little bit, who's a little difficult, who you're having trouble with. It could be your relationship, your partner, your boss, your mother, your mother-in-law, <laughs> anyone who you feel is triggering you and you're having problems with. So let's see, they are the alchemist. So understand this person. Maybe you're feeling their shadow attributes. Let, let's read those first. Misuse of power and knowledge that comes through spiritual practice. Okay, so maybe this person you're dealing with feels that they're a little bit more spiritual than you. Maybe this person feels that they have more knowledge, wisdom, power. It could also be that that person you're dealing with feels they're in a better position and they're in a, in a stronger, higher position and they're using that a little bit against you, that could be it. And let's look at the light attributes. Transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. So I've had this a few times. I've had this in my life where there is someone who basically had wisdom to give, but they were blocked, no one was listening to them or, or something was going on. And in the end, this whole thing turned around into them just wanting to dictate others and telling other people what to do. So that's really interesting. So your adversary this month in March, the person you're dealing with, will have the archetype, archetype of the alchemist. So this is a strange piece of advice, but I wanna give it to you because I that's just what I got. Honor this person and give them what they want in the moment, okay? Don't let them abuse you through their power, but give them some acknowledgement of what they're saying. There is some wisdom in it. There is something in it. Give them some, give them some positive feedback saying, yes, that's wise, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna listen to this. I'm gonna listen to this. Give them some of that and I think they will turn around and they will stop trying to misuse their power over you because people who do that are not being heard. They have their own problem that they're dealing with, okay? So very interesting, this one. But don't confuse this. Don't confuse this card and this message with someone who's negative and who's truly, truly in an abusive power situation towards you, okay? That's something a little bit different. But the underlying message here, that last part, is appease that person a little bit. Instead of just giving them contra all the time, and things will get easier. Even if, even if that person is not right, and that person is not truly an alchemist, and even if that person is not truly wise, okay? That's just an extra message I'm getting. Some of you may be really against something really difficult in a difficult situation and sometimes just kind of saying okay and giving in a little bit in order to have them ease up so you can escape easier that's for some of you okay all right so please take these messages as they resonate okay i know that was a bit of a strange one the last one but there it is i'm trying to channel the messages from my guides as best as i can so number two I'm taking too long here, I see already. <laughs> I'll try to speed it up a little bit. Okay. Now, stack number two. If you chose that, let's go back to the table. Okay, are we still rolling? We're still rolling. Stack number two. Let's look at the first four cards where you're at. Whoa. 
Wow. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. Wow, my beautiful soulful seekers. The star and the empress upright of where you're at right now and where you've come from recently. This is absolutely beautiful. You, <laughs> you know what you want. You've kept your vision high. You have got so much support. You've made leaps and bounds. With this one, I feel that you have made so much progress. You have practiced your manifestation and you have had a lot show up for you already. You have gotten a good harvest already. And if you don't see it, take a step back and look at what you've accomplished in the last few months. It's amazing. These two cards are amazing. So you are absolutely on the right path. And I think you've used the full moon, the celestial energies to your benefit to really, really open up and to really get in touch with your higher goals and dreams. And you have such a loving, beautiful, giving energy about you that everybody comes, they love you. That's what I'm getting. People absolutely love you. <laughs> so make sure you can put yourself in a position <laughs> where, you can, where you can make yourself be seen. Right now, I think you are really popular. You are popular and you're on the right path. This is beautiful, a really beautiful set. So there's, there's nothing negative to say about that. Now, the problem that might arise in March, remember, problem, solution. That's what we're looking at. King of Pentacles reversed. Let's take a look at this. Hmm. Now, I feel this is another person. This is a little bit of an opposition. You are popular, okay, but someone who is so in their flow and so in their path can ruffle a few feathers. So I feel that in March, there may come some opposition, okay? For most of you in form of a person, King of Pentacles reversed is a very solid, grounded, successful person in, in a position of power. That That's a little controlling. That can be a little, hmm, trying to hold you back or not giving you what you want or need. And this also can be an institution, okay? So those of you who are trying to get a loan, trying to get something financed, <clears throat> trying to get a scholarship, <coughs> sorry, something like that, there could be a little bit of an obstacle going on there. <coughs> sorry, I'm just gonna go over and get my tea. Beautiful Earl Grey tea going here. That's better. So let's continue here. So, doesn't mean you're not going to get it. Remember, these are energies coming up and we always attract everything that comes our way on some level and we can always solve it on another level. So, this is the resistance, the problem. The person who's blocking you, who is saying no, who's withholding the funds, who's withholding the support, okay? The solution, this is an interesting one. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay, now, this is doubt. I feel this is a card of huge doubt and holding back. And it's reversed, so the solution is don't doubt. Don't doubt for a second that you're not going to get what you want and you deserve. And if this seems like a little bit of a resistance and it doesn't loosen up, something else is going to show up. Plan B is going to show up. You know, solution B is going to show up. If solution A doesn't show up, solution B will show up. So don't hold back. Don't stop. Don't stop. Okay, this is someone going, oh, oh I'm stopping. I'm looking. Am I satisfied? Is this gonna work? I'm not sure. This is someone stopping the flow of moving forward. So this is telling me don't stop at all. Like you're on such a roll here. You, you, like this is abundance coming in. And if it looks like there is a little bit of a blockage, it's not really going to stop you if you don't want it to stop you. I feel that success in whatever it is you're trying to do is coming in March, but you cannot you cannot stop at these signs or at these people or at whatever is happening that seems 
to be difficult. That's putting rocks in your way. Just keep jump over them. <laughs> Don't stop, okay? Now I feel I need one more card here. Where is the card deck? I need one more card. Give me one more card. <clears throat> one more message for this one, for the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Cards are facing me, right? You've, you've noticed that by now. <laughs> this one. Okay, wow, interesting. You're getting pentacles, three pentacles here. Okay, March is definitely gonna be about the money, the investment, the school, you know, the physical building of your legacy somehow. You're getting the five of pentacle cards on top. Wow, this is interesting. Okay, in March for you, there's gonna be a lot showing up regarding your insecurities. So, you have to face this. You have to face this, okay? You gotta face your insecurities. You gotta really become aware of your own fears. So I feel this is a card talking about your own fears of being abandoned, not having money, being sick, being left out, thinking that this is your future. You know, we always have the power to create our future how we want. And this card is showing up as an extra message. In March, you're going to face some situations and some energies that will have you thinking, oh no, what's happening? Like, am I gonna make it? What can I do? But don't stop, okay, don't stop. I'm gonna put this over here with this one. So that's, it's gonna be an interesting month for you. But look, look, this is the base. This is what you have, this is who you are. So don't let these dips, don't let these fears or these little, little glitches or mishaps bring you down. Whenever you're transforming and moving into a better situation, there's always like an in-between phase where all your fears come up, where all the blockages come up, where it's like, oh, you know, it's kind of like that crisis before the breakthrough and the healing. We're talking about this, but on a level that has to do with everything physical, not only healing, also money. You know, that insecurity before the big breakthrough. <laughs> So that's what I'm getting here so please be aware of that and never forget to keep your vision really really high keep your vision high keep your eyes fixed on your goal on that what you want don't give up on that okay let's see the next one the extra message Ooh, <laughs> fairy ring this one used to come up a lot when I used this deck Believe in magic. Believe in the magic, my friends. You have to believe in the magic. You know, all these pentacle cards here in the middle in March. <laughs> I see there is a tendency for you to just say, what? This is all poppycock. This is all rubbish. All this spiritual stuff, all this manifestation. I have to look at the reality and I'm going to go back into my comfort zone and I'm going to stop moving forward. But don't. Don't stop believing in magic. That's a simple message <laughs> that I got here for you. Now, let's look at the past life vision or the extra message. Ah, <laughs> Archangel Michael. Oh, wow. Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Archangel Michael. So, you've got, you've got your heavenly team working for you. And you're going to need them. When these doubts come up, I mean, these are heavy cards. Those are just the doubts and fears coming up, trying to hold you back. Call on your heavenly team. A suggestion, Archangel Michael. I work a lot with Archangel Michael because it's such a powerful, strong, protective, forceful energy that he has. Non-denominational. You don't have to be Christian to call on Archangel Michael, okay? All the heavenly people, <laughs> your team of light, your angels, spirit guides, masters, teachers, they're non-denominational. And whoever you resonate with, start really working with angelic help, specifically higher angelic help, okay? We have spirit guides, we have so many helping up there, but this card came up for a reason. So start connecting, do some meditation, do some calling for help, do some high vibrational practices with your angelic team and that's really going to help you. That's really going to help you. Okay. Next one. Ooh. It's your archetype card and I just turned it around. 
Messiah. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is a new one. I haven't had that before. Light attribute, serving humanity with humility. Wow. Shadow attribute, exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed. Pretty simple message. For each of you, it's different again, but the Messiah energy is together with this here. And I mean, look at, look at all these cards. Look at these cards that you're getting. This is to confirm that you are on a path that is needed. You are needed. You are, on, you are on an important path. That's what I believe. And all of us right now are needed. We are light workers. If you're watching this, you're a light worker. Don't doubt it. And with this card is just confirming your own divinity, your own closeness to the divine, to God. <laughs> right? We are all little messiahs. At the moment, we are all so needed to raise the vibration, to bring light into this world, to bring joy into every person that we meet. That's the reminder. That's what I see as a reminder of this, that you are so important. So don't let yourself be dragged down, okay? Don't let yourself be dragged down. We need you. <laughs> now, the energy of your biggest adversary this month in March, it's going to be this one, like the King of, King of Pentacles reversed, okay? So this is it. Ooh, engineer. Hmm. This is going to be, before I read anything, look at this card. The engineer is kind of going, he's calculating. This person is kind of calculating, going, huh, hmm, how can I do this? Like, this is a very calculating energy that I'm getting. So your adversary is very smart. You can't outwit him. You've got to do it in a different way. Okay. <laughs> you have to call on your angels and guides, believe in magic, shine your own light and don't try to just like go head to head with whatever this resistance is. It, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So light attributes, ability to give creative energy to a practical expression, talent for designing solutions to common dilemmas. Okay. Shadow attributes, reliance on mechanistic solutions with without regard for emotional consequences. Exactly. And I feel because this one was reversed. <laughs> that means the shadow attributes of this person are these. So, like I said, logical, mechanical systems and like not even caring about or considering any emotional consequences or what consequence there might be for the other person. All right. So, that's who you're up against. But look, <laughs> who is more powerful, you think? The Messiah or the engineer? Huh? So yeah, you can overcome this. You are, this month, the power, the force is with you this month. <laughs> okay, don't doubt it. All right. Okay, good. So that was number two. Number three. Those who picked number three. Let's do this. Number three. Okay. Oh, I put these the wrong way around. It looks a little bit rubbly. Let's have it looking nice and tidy. Number three. If you picked pile number three, one, two, three, four. Ooh, you're getting lots of person, strong personalities here. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's take a look. This is where you're at. Four of Wands reversed and the Emperor on top. So this is you, you and you. That's what I'm getting. This is you. So you may have had a little bit of a disappointment. Things not turning out exactly how you want. But I feel that you are kind of on top of it. You have figured out how to overcome this, how to conquer this, how to um, get a handle on it. Okay, so I see this as you having such a strong personality and I'm reminding you of this. You are strong. You have such a strong spirit that any of this type of stuff that goes on around you cannot phase you. And I feel you haven't had it let phase you so much, but this is as a reminder. So what has gone wrong? We're like the happy, yay, celebration, good results. 
where have they not manifested how you want? And have you really understood and remembered that you're such a powerful creator? And sometimes things goes wrong because things go wrong because they are just not meant to be. They're not the perfect match for you. It's not the perfect vibration for you. It's just not that which would have been the best solution. And you have to sometimes remember that and not just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Um, but this is positive. This is you kind of really understanding how powerful you are. And I'm reminding you of this. You are powerful. <laughs> okay. And you can overcome this. That's what I'm getting from this message. So I think you are in a pretty good place right now, in a very strong, powerful place. And if you're saying, no, I'm not, stop for a moment, step back and look at this whole situation in the last couple of months. Look at the situation, look where you're at right now and, and you'll see that I'm right. You are in a good place and you are powerful and you are realizing this. Okay, so I'm saying bravo. I'm saying well done for and bravo for overcoming, conquering and just being able to handle whatever went wrong there. Okay, next one is the problem and then the solution. Problem, solution. The cards are programmed like that. Ooh, the nine of cups is actually a good card, but why is this a problem? Why is this a problem? Okay, let's take a look at it. This person is sitting there super content, has all his little ducks in a row, <laughs> has all his achievements displayed. He's very, very content, but he's sitting there not moving, not doing anything. He may be too content. That's why this is in the position of a problem. Maybe that which you have built, maybe it's too static. Maybe it's time to change it. Maybe you are getting too complacent. Maybe you're a little too smug about something. Um, there's something in this card right now that's, that's telling me, okay, you've done well, but, but you've got to change it up. Don't just sit there and wait. Don't be, don't be passive. You know, sometimes when we've accomplished something, we're like, oh, now we can relax. Okay, relax for a little bit. But then you have to continue. You have to keep taking new action. You have to keep being a little more proactive. And this person is not proactive. So the problem could be resting on your laurels a little too much. Okay, resting on your laurels. That's what I'm getting here. And the solution is this. So don't get me wrong, like be proud. You've come, you've come through. Be proud. In March, you will create something amazing and you can be proud of it, but don't stop there. Don't stop there. Keep going. And this is the solution. And this is a piercing clarity of mind, of understanding of what you need to do, okay? Like this feeling of, oh yes, you know, oh, this is so great, I'm so happy, everything's fine. And like, this is a little bit of too much of a golden whole vision that's not real, okay? <laughs> this is like, boom, boom, this sword can burst through the bubble, boom, and, and help you move forward, okay? I do feel though that what you have created, what you have is good. You just have to continue to move. That's what I'm telling you. And the energy of the, the Queen of Swords is actually good. She's very neutral. She's very calm. She's logical. Sometimes we need that little bit of the logic, right? I mean, we're putting the Emperor and the Queen of Swords as positive cards for you in this, in this reading. So it's stepping into your power. The Emperor also is very neutral, very fair, very, very grounded. The Queen of Swords has that piercing intellect, but not only intellect, I feel that she channels true wisdom. That's what I'm getting. She's channeling true wisdom. So whatever situation you're in, you know, take a step back and, and look at it from a higher point of view. Look, this person seems to be sitting kind of low. She's sitting very high, a higher perspective. You need to get a higher perspective on your situation here in March. It's really important. So, so make the time to meditate, to connect to your intuition, to really get in the flow, to, to allow the wisdom to channel through your heart into your mind to higher understanding. 
this is higher understanding and this is not higher understanding okay okay so that's really interesting so let's see what else we need to know about this situation in March for you but I, I feel already like with this with these cards March can be incredibly positive successful for you if you do it right with with this combination okay so let's continue here what do we have Ooh, cellular collapse wow cellular collapse that's this that's the cellular collapse so i feel this is breaking down look like this is kind of a circle here this is like a round this is round the cell is round the cell has to collapse in order to expand that's what i am getting collapse in order to expand that's what you have to do very simple and look at this again and see what message you get okay this is about your intuition <laughs> now Let's get a past life vision for you. The three of, what is that? I can't see it in my glasses again. The three of scrolls, okay. So, the three of scrolls. I'm gonna get, get a past life vision for you here. Setting your course. Ooh, yes, absolutely. That's what we need to do. Set our course. So let me see, captain on a ship. Let me see what I get for you in this vision. Okay, stormy seas. And there's like a huge ship. And of course, yeah, you're on this ship just like here. And you've got a huge cargo full of gold, full of like your ship is deep in the water because it's it's heavy. It's full of gold. <laughs> And what I'm seeing here is there like there's pirates who want to who have you in their vision and they're a little bit afraid because you're very powerful. Your ship also has cannons and swords and fighting people like heavily guarded because of this cargo that you have. And, th and this is this here, the complacency. You have so much gold and you're very sure of yourself, but all the armor that you have may not be enough for that one pirate who like really wants what you have to try to get it. So I feel that you have to change course. You have to change course a little bit. Okay, whatever you're doing here, whatever it is that you are at, if this has to do, and these can be translated into physical situations that you are in. Are you trying to get a new job, expand your business, get a house, get a loan, move house, expand, build your foundation a little better on your house. Whatever it is that, you, that you're doing, you've got to change it up a little bit. You've got to change it up a little bit um, so, <laughs> so it's not taken away from you, so you don't fall into a trap, so you're not too content and confident and too complacent, okay? So because I saw this captain... I actually saw it, Stormy Seas, the pirates, and he did a move. He changed his course in a way that was unexpected to get help because there was another ship coming and they joined up and then went on and they avoided um, getting robbed that way. Okay, so this is kind of interesting because look, these are a lot of riches. This is a lot of good stuff that you have. So I'm just saying, <clears throat> just be very careful that the deal doesn't fall through that you make the right choice, that you change things up a little bit, that you get your maximum potential and benefit from that. Okay, that's what I saw here. Interesting, very interesting. So let's continue and see the archetype that you have to embody. <laughs> the destroyer. These archetypes that are coming up in this reading are pretty intense. So let's see the destroyer. My glasses here all tangled. <laughs> light attributes so this is what you must embrace and embody wow look at that color light attributes releasing what is potentially destructive preparing for new life wow so take all this what i've said put it up a notch for some of you and really really change it up you have to change it up releasing what is potentially destructive okay 
preparing for new life. So for some of you, it could be a bigger change, a bigger change where you have to pierce that bubble a little more and make more drastic changes, okay? Shadow attributes, intoxication with destructive power, destroying others' dreams or potential. Wow, what does that say to you? That extra little message. What I'm getting is listen to the ones close to you. Open your ears and eyes and your heart and include them in your plans. Make sure you don't say anything even without wanting to, that kind of, that puts them down a little bit as an, as an extra message there, okay? We sometimes do that. I do that sometimes. I'm such a strong personality that <laughs> sometimes I feel I don't listen enough, okay? So, this one, this one is your adversary. This is the energy of your adversary this month. Okay, so you're gonna have a person in your life this month who will bring you a little bit of trouble. So this is an extra message. Someone in your surroundings, someone that will confront you, a person who you might have problems with. And this is the energy that they have for you to understand it and deal with it better. So they have the energy of the monk or nun. Light attributes, selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit. Beautiful. Shadow attributes, negative judgment of the physical world, excess piety, all right? So because this is the adversary, this is the person you are dealing with, they might not judge you so kindly in what you're trying to do. Excessive piety, they might be criticizing you for what it is you're doing or what it is that you want or for your worldly, for your worldly goals. Okay, so don't let yourself be pulled down, but honor them in, in who they are and what they're trying to do, what they're trying to say. Honor their positive attributes. You know, often with these cards, it's so true. Sometimes we are trying to embody something and it turns around because, we're, because people are not seeing it. People are not honoring who we are in the moment. And so it kind of turns negative. So for you, Look at the people around you and see how that resonates and try to try to um, confirm to them their positive light attributes, which are selfless devotion, single-minded dedication. Okay, so that's a very interesting one as well. Okay, good. So that was stack number three. Now, let's get to number four. Number four. I'll put the camera down again. Okay, are we seeing this? Yes, we're seeing it. Okay, number four. One, two, three, four. And they are programmed to be turned around this way. Wow. If you chose number four, this is really interesting. Very interesting development. Now we have the moon reversed. And this is the here and now and where you're coming from. And the ten of pentacles reversed. Wow. <laughs> Has the full moon affected you? Were you going lunar crazy? <laughs> I was. I always do. The moon affects me so strongly. And I work through so much. And it looks like you have been working through a lot of emotions. Okay, you've worked through a lot of emotions. A lot of maybe detrimental or negative emotions that are still lingering. And perhaps you've had a situation where the dream that you had, the goal that you had of building your empire, of building your legacy. Maybe there's been some negative parts to it. Maybe some of it hasn't come true how you wanted. Maybe it hasn't been fulfilled how you wanted exactly. Maybe you had a little bit of a financial loss, a little bit of a loss of your solidity, stability, your grounding. And that's maybe what caused this. Okay, so this card is telling me you've you've had a tough time, perhaps, especially in all the aspects of physical life, of manifesting life. That's why they're the coins here. See, this one reversed. This talks about building your legacy, stability, family, tons of money in the bank, <laughs> building your house, keeping your house. Okay, so this reversed is kind of like, okay, 
it hasn't maybe gone how you how you how you wanted it to go recently and you know going through negative difficult emotional cycles and not really seeing clearly is one of these results but March is going to be different. Look at this. March is going to be different because you're getting the page of wands. And it's funny because this is in the position that, that I program as problems. And this is the solution. But I feel the problem here is for you to get a fresh perspective and a fresh start. That's the problem. Because you're going to have it. You're going to have incredible opportunities in March to get a fresh start but the problem is if you are like emotionally down if you're like angry scared going through all kinds of stuff then then you are not open to see this then then you've dragged yourself down your vibration is so low that you cannot see this and it's so important that you just get to a neutral place and open yourself up to a brand new opportunity Okay, page of wands is a brand new opportunity. That's just so clear. This is like, okay, you're going to get a yes. You're going to get a good notice. You're going to get an acceptance. You're going to get an offer. You're going to get a new, and this is a new one, a brand new opportunity to start building your legacy again, to start to get a new perspective on whatever this was. It's, it's going to come. It's coming and it's coming fast. So you better be ready for it. Because if we have our eyes closed, we can't see opportunities, we don't manifest them. If our vibration is low, we think negatively, how can we see this? So make sure you jump onto this timeline here that's coming. Because look at this, <laughs> the solution, King of Swords. Look at this development. Look at the development, like from here, like it, it gets better and better as, the, as we move forward in the month. The King of Swords is the mastering of this. The King of Swords is the saying yes and taking advantage of and jumping in and absolutely turning your situation around because you said yes to the new opportunity. Okay. The King of Swords is in control. So in March, if you have several things coming forward, Whatever feels the most exciting and new and different to you is, is the thing to take. Don't take a step back. Don't take a step sideways. Don't just kind of say, okay, I'll, I'll just kind of, I'll make do. No, this is what you need and this is what you're going to get. And you're going to master it and you're going to be in a completely different place. Look, this is the opposite of this card. The King of Swords is clear headed, calm, neutral, in control. He's, he's masterminding and plotting his course. And this, this is a total, this is confusion and emotional turmoil. So look how far you can come from the last few months to March, like towards the middle end of March. So this is really brilliant. So take this card, take this energy of the King of Swords and say, this is me. This is me. This is what I'm going to be. This is who I'm going to be. I'm going to be the mastermind of my life and I'm going to take control, okay? <laughs> so for you, March, is going to be really brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. If you, if, <laughs> if you want it to be, okay? So remember, these forecasts and these visions of the future are energies and timelines that you have the opportunity to jump on or not, okay? Let's see what's the next message here. Hopeless, hopeless release. Does that say that? Hopeless release. Huh. Yeah, it does say that. Okay, just look at that card. Hopeless release. That's an interesting one. Hmm. So, this has to do with where you're coming from. Okay. Um, and this is... For each one of you, it's going to be different. And I'm just going to go a little deeper into it to get the message here. Okay. Hopeless release. Okay. What I'm getting with this one is 
this has to do with this moon card. Okay, I feel that you, you're stuck in a way and you're trying to heal something and release something which is not even real. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, okay? For you to keep working on the release and on the healing of a certain thing, I feel it's hopeless, a hopeless release because it's not real. It's in your mind, it's in your imagination. You have everything you need. The opportunity is here. You just need to concentrate on moving forward. You've worked through stuff enough, you've done enough of this, and if you're in an emotional place of turmoil, you can fabricate many things in your mind that are just too complicated and too convoluted and which are not valid. That's what I'm getting. That's just one little message for a part of you because healing is good, releasing is good, of course, but with this very special case this month, this is what you need. Boom, move forward. Embrace the new. You, you already worked through all of this. You've worked through all of this. And that's very interesting, that message. Okay. Sometimes we go on endless healing journeys to distract us from taking new action. I work with clients in the Akashic Records to move forward for goal setting. And sometimes we get stuck and we think, okay, we have healing to do. We get stuck. And we take healing journeys that go for years and years and years that just stop us from taking new action because we're just kind of going in circles. So healing is excellent. We have to go through our healing, but we can't get stuck on it. And that's what I'm getting here. You're getting stuck and focusing too much on the negative stuff, on the stuff that's wrong, on the endless healing, healing, healing. You've healed enough. Go and take some action. You've healed enough. Believe me. Just spring into new action. Move forward. That's what you need to do. Okay, next one. Ooh, ho, ho, look at that. This is the Akashic Tarot. Fated meeting. <laughs> okay, all right. If you don't stop it with this, you're not going to be open to meet an incredible soul. That's going to change your life. <laughs> the faded meeting card doesn't come often. Doesn't come often. So those who are looking for love, uh, yes, yes. Those who are looking for an opportunity that's really important. For example, if you're looking for a business partner, if you're looking for a new job, a new colleague, it, whoever it is you're looking for, the right person will come into your life in March if you allow it, if, if you move forward, if you embrace this energy. That's maybe why this came up, okay? That's maybe why this came up, because if you're so focused on old things, your head is down and you can't see the new one coming in. So if you're looking for love, it's a good opportunity. Excellent, brilliant opportunity. Wow, faded meeting. Okay, next one. <laughs> oh, these cards, thief. So this is what you have to embody. <laughs> you got to steal this person's heart away. <laughs> okay, no. This card position, I have two of these, okay? I have two of these. This is the one that you have to embody, and this is the one that your opponent will have. So you must embody the archetype of a thief. So let's get my glasses and let's read what it says. <laughs> oh, and he's oh, he's even got a heart there. You see that? Light attributes sheds light on the potent potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. There you go. The potential wealth that can never be stolen. That has to do with this card as well. So that's for you. Shedding light on your riches, on what you have, not on what you don't have. Shadow attribute, stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. Oh, okay. Of course, we're not going to do that, are we? No, we are not. Um, you have everything you need. Remember, you're such a beautiful divine soul living this human experience, and you were, giving, you were given everything you need to be successful and happy. And, and remember that. Remember that. <laughs> so that's really interesting. Thief. So that's what you must embody to focus on what you have already. So you don't have to take it from anywhere else. Now this is your opponent. So I, progr I, cro I programmed one card for each deck of the energy of the most difficult person that month. 
So in March, the most difficult person is going to be this. So let's see, I haven't seen this yet. What does it say? Prince. Ooh, Prince. Very interesting. This is going to be the most difficult person, but it can be this person. It can be this person. It can be someone who's really against you. It can be someone who's for you, but it's someone that you're going to have a little bit of a conflict with or a little bit of a alteration with or someone who's just really triggering your buttons. Okay, so you'll know who it is. So let's see what it says. And because it says Prince, okay, I think that this fated meeting is going to be very exciting. They're going to trigger some parts of you and, you know, with soulmates, with soul family, they trigger us. They do. And they come to us for a reason so we can, you know, release karma and learn certain lessons. Sorry if I'm looking a bit scraggly, guys, today. <laughs> I went swimming yesterday and was so tired. I just went to bed with wet hair. I didn't even comb it. But the reading has to be done today. So, Prince. Light attribute. Romantic charm and potential for power. This is definitely the person, the faded meeting. Okay, and this is for a lot of you who are in a relationship or know someone already. It's a charmer. It's a charmer. This is this person is an absolute charmer. Shadow attributes using power for self-aggrandizement. Self-aggrandizement. <laughs> I think it means using power for making yourself grand and having a little bit of a superiority complex. So your opponent may be doing that, using his charm against you a little bit to, to put himself into a place of power and, and to make himself feel better. Maybe, okay? So, <laughs> so this is very interesting. So you'll know who this is. And it's always good to to really acknowledge the positive light attributes in this person because that makes them bring them forth more. That's how I feel, okay? So the prince is gonna come, the fated meeting is gonna come. Here, I'll show you the cards again. It's gonna be very exciting this month, but you have to do your work. You know that these are timeline readings. Nothing is ever set in stone, okay? This is always up to you how you handle all the energies. So I feel that you can be really successful, very clear-minded. All that nebulosity is going to get cleared away. You're gonna find a way to to start building your legacy. This beautiful new opportunity coming in, in that person coming in, fated meeting, not concentrating on the old. And <laughs> be a little thief, okay? Be a little thief. <laughs> okay, great. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, thank you so much for sticking through with me. Um, a little announcement. I am opening up my card readings again, very in a limited way. I've had so many emails. People want me to do tarot again. So if you are interested in a personal reading, just look in the description box. You will find all the information there. And I'm going to open up a few tarot readings every month um, besides for my Akashic Records work, for the deeper work that I do and for some spirit guide channeling as well. So if you're interested, in the work that I do one-on-one, -on -one, just check it out below. It's easy to find. And also, if you know anyone who could benefit from this reading, please share this video with them. Let them know. And please subscribe to my channel. I'd be so happy to have you on board here with me and see how you like the content. Okay. Thank you so much. Love you guys. And I wish you a beautiful and exciting month of March. Bye for now.